Hey, you guys. Hey, Calvin. How's it going? I'm good. How are you? Good, thank you. Always, uh, always love to talk to you. Always doing uh, interesting things. We always love talking to you. So it's nice, to, it's nice to catch up. Yeah, you too. <laughs> um, first and foremost, how's your collarbone? Tomorrow was telling me about the, your collarbone breaking and Dude, everything else. How's it, it was how's so it, how's it intense. You know what's so funny though? When it happened, I didn't even rec- I didn't know it happened. When I went to go see the doctor, they were like, "It's been fractured for three weeks." And they were like, how did you get, th- how did you go this long without noticing? But that is the mindset you're in when you're like, literally like, okay, I have to play Joseph Ballone. I need to get it together. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're not even focused on what the body's actually doing. Um, but it, it definitely, I remember being in the shower and that was when I noticed because the water hit it and I screamed. I screamed like someone stabbed me. And I was like, okay, time, time to go get this checked out. <laughs> That's a, it sounds like a, a, a pain, painful one, particularly given what you're, you're having to do in the film. Yeah, and it was on my violin side, anyway. Oh, dear. So in terms of, I mean, in terms of the bringing Chevalier to, to the screen, obviously there's a lot of disciplines for you, and you had to really kind of go full pelt into doing all of the, all of the things, not just the, the violin stuff, but obviously the, the, the sword stuff as well. Which did you find the most rewarding out of the two that you managed to do? Was there one that you were just like, this is something I might take? Take forward and- no, none of them I would ever take forward. Um, <laughs> I, but I did <laughs> like. <laughs> I was like, it was just too. You know, listen. I'm an actor. And I'm gonna stick to that. I really like being able to like for a moment of time really lock in on something and have a hobby for a bit. And I think it was really fun. I learned a lot. I, it's more so too is like you learn what you're capable of with discipline, discipline, and, and a healthy mindset, and allowing yourself to have the freedom to play can get you a long way. And I think that reminded me. It just reminded me that's part that should be a part of my process and everything. But the violin was very hard. It was very stressful, and there were many days where I wanted to throw it across the room, um, but I didn't. I don't remember if I did or not, but I don't think I did. <laughs> and I guess as well in terms of like people who go out and do singing, you were kind of doing it doing it live. I mean, that's a challenge unto itself. It's very nerve wracking when you think about it. Like the night before, you're like, "Oh my god, I'm about to do this," but then what you have to do is like what is that the actor has to kind of put on the character and you kind of go, oh, all right, well, you know, Joseph might be scared or something, but the Chevalier is definitely not. And the Chevalier is what the people want, you know? And then you kind of think about, the, I will say that the extras and the background artists in the movie were so fun and they would cheer me on like I was Hendrix and Prince. And it made it so much easier because you just kind of can lean into like the the showman of it all because they were eating up everything. They were eating it up. So you just, you know, you feed off the audience. Fantastic. Well, I really enjoyed the movie. It's it's wonderful and I wish you all the all the best and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll pops cross again one day. Thank you. Appreciate you, man. Good to see you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey you guys. <laughs> hey you guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys. Hey, hey.